hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am going to be showing you how to make patsicles I know if you're like me you're wondering what the fuck are patsicles because that's the same thing I said when I heard about these they're just pads that you drench in witch hazel and in aloe vera and you just store them in the freezer for once you deliver your baby. These only work for vaginal births. So if you have a C-section, I'm sure there's other methods you can do. I found this on Pinterest. I'm actually gonna try it for the first time. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I really think it's an amazing idea because I know with my firstborn, with my son, I tore really bad and it was not fun. Well, actually, I don't, I did not tear. I think my doctor cut me. I forgot what it's called. There's a proper term for it and I'll put it down right here. But yeah, that's what happened to me. And it was not fun, not fun at all. So I'm so glad I came across this on Pinterest and I'm gonna try it for this pregnancy and hopefully it works wonders because we all know after having a baby, it's very painful to sit. It's very just complicated. And I'm sorry, I'm so out of breath. You know, I'm getting closer to my due date. Today is October 3rd. I am due October 22nd. So technically today I am 37 weeks and three days. So I'm getting there. So I'm like really out of breath. Today, I've been just feeling really tired. I just woke up not long ago from a nap and I'm just nesting. I want everything to be ready for when the baby's here. Um, we've been doing a lot of things around the house. We've been setting up all of his stuff. His nursery is not quite done yet, almost done. But I'm just like, oh my God, we need to finish. I still need to wash his clothes finish washing his clothes because I already washed them, his blankets and all that, just to have ready for the day that he's ready to come, which I'm hoping that he doesn't pass his due date like my son did. I'm hoping that he is here within the next week or so, or just whenever he's ready, whenever it's safe for him to come. I'm just hoping that he doesn't come after his due date. That's the only thing I'm praying for. But yeah, I'm just trying to have everything done. I still need to pack like his diaper bag and I still need to pack my bag. So I need to get all that ready and I'm getting anxious and I can't wait. But yeah, let's get started on this video because I will start rambling. But yeah, let's get started on this video because I will start rambling about other nonsense. So let me show you what you need. You need always maxi pads. The ones I got are size two. They're super long or long, super, whatever. And you do need them with wings. And I got witch hazel. This is the only one that I can find at my target that I went to, to go pick up this stuff. And I got the unscented one because I have kind of sensitive skin and especially down there I'm like I do not need a breakout or anything there was one that had lavender I was in a, I was so tempted to get it because on Pinterest I did see that people do add lavender to this but I just didn't want to risk it so I just got the the unscented one also I got the aloe vera gel with no fragrance or anything either just to be safe. I'm hoping and praying, I've already talked to my doctor, that one of my main concerns is that I am afraid to tear like how I tore my first pregnancy. So I'm hoping she guides me through this and that I do not tear like how I did with my son because I will be devastated and in so much pain. Um, but. I had my son 10 years ago, so she did say a lot of 
things have changed since then. Anyways, you also need these big Ziploc bags because this is where you're going to put the pads back in and throw them in the freezer. And also, you need some foil paper. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, don't be a dumbass like me and rip it on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. I just ripped the wrong side. Nice. But anyways, I am only going to make 20 just because I want to save some just in case I don't need this many. Um, but it's, from what I've seen, they're really simple to make. So if I need any more once I deliver, once I run out of these, I'll just make more. So the first thing you're going to do is rip the pad open. This is very important. You do not want to take the pad out of the paper. And this is also very important. You want to cut this because you don't want the sticky part to get unsticky. So I have my scissors and I'm just going to cut like so. So you're going to add the witch hazel all on it. What's cool is that it has a small hole. <laughs> I'm so glad. I was afraid that I was just going to drench it with way too much. You do want to kind of drench it quite a bit, especially in the middle. And then you're going to add the aloe vera. This one doesn't have this stupid little thing, so. You're going to add it right in the middle also. So can you see and you're going to use a spoon because you do not want to touch this since it's going to go down in your chocha or your colita so this is all you're going to do for all 20 of these pads, or however many you choose to make. And then after that, after you got it with the witch hazel and the aloe vera, you're gonna grab a piece of aluminum foil. Just a small thin piece like this. And not on all of the pins that I've seen on Pinterest were doing this, um, but one of them that I came across, she showed how to do it with the aluminum foil and I thought it was much better and necessary because you don't want it to stick together once you fold it and close it up. So you're going to put the aluminum foil and then you're going to close it back up just how the pad came. Oh, but now it seems smaller. It doesn't close all the way, but it's fine. Just gonna close it right back up. Just like that. And from what I read, once you have them in the freezer, they're obviously gonna all stick together, so. Just make sure you organize them in your sandwich bag or your storage bag very nicely so they don't open up. And there's one. I'm going to do the rest.
one storage bag I was able to fit exactly 20 like I mentioned to you guys I was only gonna make 20 just to see how it goes but I have a whole bunch of extra ones and I still have a lot of which hazel and oliveira what I found was easier was to do obviously more than one at once if you guys try this out let me know and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also follow me on my social media accounts that I recently made for my YouTube fam and until my next video I'll talk to you later